You are watching Sammy, the Interviewing Toucan, made possible by the Indiana Young Reader Center. Hey, everybody. I'm Sammy, and I'm here today with Donna Griffin. Hi, Donna. How are you today? Oh, hey, Sammy. I am so great. It's really great to meet you. I've heard it great things about you. Oh my gosh. Well, it's so wonderful to meet you too. I love Indiana authors and I know you've got uh, lots of picture books to tell us about today. So before we launch into your books, tell us a little bit about yourself and your connection to Indiana. Well, Sammy, like you, I am a Hoosier through and through. I was born here and raised here. I also have just a piece of my heart left in Texas, believe it or not, because I was a teacher and worked in Texas for and lived in Texas, El Paso for 10 years. But those 10 years only made me appreciate it even more when I came back home about 12, 13 years ago. So I'm really glad to be back home again in Indiana. Ah, so Donna, can you tell us a little bit about your work? I have one of your books here. This is Old Whiskers Escapes. This is one of your newest books, but, but what else can you tell us about your work? I've always been a writer ever since I was just a kid. Luckily, a teacher very um, importantly told me that you can write really well. And at that point, I didn't know that I could. It ends up that I am now a teacher also. So I'm a writer and a teacher. I teach writing and media and newspapers and, and video, and I get to do a lot of cool things with my kids. I am most proud of the books that I've done. Besides Old Whiskers, I did a book, The 12 Days of Christmas in Indiana, which actually started it all right here. Love and that's it. so fun going to different places in the state and finding out about how they celebrate Christmas. And then I have the new one, which is definitely close to my heart, which is The Birth of the First Amendment. And it's a graphic novel about how the First Amendment came to be, which if you are a writer, Sammy, you know that, that the First Amendment is very important to you and also to the community and to our government. So now I'm working on a brand new project, which is about another love of mine, which is sports. And do you like sports, Sammy? Oh my gosh, yes. I am an Indiana bird, so I am all about basketball and I'm all about the Indy 500. Yes, I am a sports bird. Yeah, so we're going to talk about all the legends of Indiana, the sports legends, but we're going to do it from the little kid perspective. And we have some very important kids who are having a big sports match coming up in the spring. We're going to debut the ultimate sibling showdown, and we're going to find out who wins a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. Is it Portia or is it Jay? Who knows? Oh, ooh, that sounds fun. And you said that within that story, we're also going to talk about some, is it just basketball legends? This, this story is about the basketball legends of Reggie Miller and Cheryl Miller, who are, Reggie is a big legend, one of the biggest basketball legends here. And he has an interesting story of his childhood. And this is a lot about when he was a kid and how the things he overcame as a child to become the great player that he ended up being. Oh, that's, that all sounds so fun. Well, before we move on to my last question, I wanted to talk a little bit about Old Whiskers Escapes because I've got it here. It's a really sweet picture book. Can you tell us what inspired you to write this book? What inspired me was I talked to a good friend of mine, Andrea Neal, who is with the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. And that's a very cool place. I know. And I love that place. Yeah, it's a very cool place to go. And I only knew a little bit about our Indiana president, Benjamin Harrison, when I started to, as I said, somebody said, we're looking for someone to do this story. And when they explained the story of Baby McKee and Old Whiskers the Goat, I went, this is such a cool story. I, I want to write it. I want to write it. But I had to go find out more about it. I found out that our Indiana president was a great president. He did a lot of things that I don't think people ever gave him, you know, the, the credit for. He helped our park, the, the national park system. He was a great person in terms of dealing with people and their, their civil rights, and he was very conscious of that. But he also was the best grandpa ever. Aww. Because he played with his grandchildren every day. And that's what happened. So what you find out about the old whiskers escapes is it's the one day when for some reason grandpa didn't come to play. And so old whiskers decides to go find grandpa. And then everything goes crazy. Oh, but The important part is it's a true story. 
Well, and it is so fun to read. So I just want to encourage everybody to go check out Old Whiskers Escapes. And also, if you're here in town, please do run over to the Benjamin Harrison presidential site because it is absolutely worth a visit. Now, Donna, um, I'm asking all of my authors to share a little something. Do you have something there that you can share with us for show and tell? Sure. First of all, I have this, which most of you kind of know what this is. This is, do you know what this is, Sammy? Those are post-it notes. Right. Now, this one doesn't have anything on it, but if you were to look at my computer, here's what I've got on one side. I have these on the bottom of my computer that have words on them. I have to have my post-its. They help me keep things organized and they help me capture my ideas on paper. And that made me think about how important words on paper are. And it can be paper on your computer screen if you like to type that way, but there's still something very special about writing your words down on paper. and. I think that that is where you make change in the world, which is what our founding fathers did when they made our First Amendment and the Constitution. And that was very important. They put all of their faith and belief behind that. And that is a little bit about what we talk about in, in this book. Well, and that's so fun that you've got, you have a graphic novel and you also have picture books. Was it different to write a graphic novel versus a picture book? It was a little bit because you rely a lot more on the illustrator. And I was lucky in both of these, if you can't tell, Sammy, these were both illustrated by the same person who is a great friend and a great Indiana illustrator and editorial cartoonist, Gary Varvo. And he did both of these. So it was nice to be able to work with somebody. And that's what I like the most about picture books as a writer, because I can't write a picture book without an illustrator. So you get to be partners and you get to work together. And sometimes that's also a fun part of the process is working together to let the pictures tell some of the story and my words tell the story and put them together. Oh, I love that. It's such a nice, beautiful collaboration, right? Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, I agree. How fun. Well, Donna, this has been so fun to talk to you. I really appreciate the interview. I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for sharing your work with us. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so glad. I always love to talk about, about books and writing and stories. It's great. Oh, wonderful. Well, everybody, this is your favorite Who's Your Toucan encouraging you to read local. So long. Bye, Donna. Bye.